A rogue planet is a planet that doesn't orbit a star. They are pretty difficult to observe because their movements don't affect a parent star. Usually, when astronomers look for planets, they look for any slight variations of the brightness of the star that they are observing as a planet passes in front of it. This is also known as a transit. Instead, astronomers look at how the planets affect the stars that are much, much farther away. From our perspective on Earth, they wrap the light of the background star, causing it to magnify and brighten, acting like a lens. This is called gravitational microlensing. Rogue planets are rejected from its planetary system when there is a collision or a near miss with another star or a black hole, two stars pass one another and their gravitational pull fling away the planet, a supernova occurs near the planetary system, galaxies collide with one another, or in the early stages of their planetary systems. But it is also possible that a rogue planet could form away from the star by collecting enough hydrogen into a sphere and not having enough mass to form it into a star. Because it doesn't have a parent star, rogue planets are extremely cold. Its outer layers are as cold as interstellar space, but it could have a molten core in a subsurface ocean. There could still be leftover heat from its formation, so it's possible that life could survive in there. It's also possible that these planets kept their moons when they were ejected and could cause tidal heating between the planet and the moon. Tidal heating occurs when a moon orbits a planet and creates the tidal bulge stretching and heating up the planet. The first rogue planets were discovered in the late 1990s by a group of Japanese astronomers in the chameleon cluster. 500 light years away from Earth. Other teams soon found more rogue planet candidates in the Orion Nebula and in 2012, the Canada-France Brown Dwarf Survey found TFBDSIR 2149-0403, a rogue planet candidate 100 light years away. It doesn't reflect any light so the faint bluish glow of the planet can only be seen in the infrared. The planet is so cold that in visible light it would be seen as a dim, deep red color. So far, there are only only two confirmed rogue planets. But considering the fact that the Milky Way contains an estimated of 400 billion stars, and the fact that there are more planets than there are stars, it's possible that there are plenty of rogue planets out there waiting to be discovered. Thanks for watching and keep looking up.